Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually a really big one that I think you guys are going to thoroughly love, to say the least. Right? It is actually about emails from command. So now whenever sending out an email from command, especially for the smart plan section, for instance, all right, so if you're in your smart plans, you're sending stuff out, previously you probably saw that was sending from no reply. Well, there is now a command email applet that includes 5,000 emails per month for free. All right, and then you can even upgrade it as well through the marketplace. So we'll show you both places on here to take a look at it immediately. So to access this new command email app, we're going to click on our name up here at the top right, and we're going to go to settings, that third option down. All right, so let's go and click on that settings section real quick. All right, and once we click on settings, it's literally going to take us over to the main place to access this. Now we're going to see all of our normal applications that we have linked up on command, but if we scroll to the very bottom down here, you're going to notice there's a new command email option. All right, so the official email provider of command includes 5,000 free emails to send per month. All right, so it's automatically connected. That'll automatically sync up for you. And as of right now, it looks like you still will need MailChimp in order to send out actual campaigns, as you can see for the email campaign section on here. But for anything like smart plans or any of the neighborhood searches or anything of that sort, it's going to come from command email. So once you click on the manage option over here on the right hand side, it'll automatically say on here, here's the email configuration. Emails are sent from a K2B email address on your behalf, and you can configure the agent name displayed and the reply to email address. All right, so in this case, previously you probably saw MailJet on here, and that's where you could actually go through and change the reply to email. Well, now we can actually change the agent displayed email, or sorry, agent displayed name on there and the reply to email. So in this case, it's still going to come from a different email address. And I don't believe it's going to be the no reply at kdb.com email. From what we've seen and been told, it's going to be a, a basically an email that's for you only as an agent. All right. So it's an agent specific email on here. But on here, we can actually change out our name. So whatever we want as the agent display name. And then we can also change the reply to email. And there are four ways that we can actually update this. Technically five if we just want to add in a custom email. You can use your white pages email address, so whatever's in your white pages. You can use your KW email address, so whatever the primary KW is. Your recovery email, which is the same recovery email from the white pages, could be the exact same as the white pages email. Or your marketing profile email that's under your command back in. Or you can always just click on add custom email on here to add inside a custom email too. All right, so once you actually select that, so I'm going to select my marketing profile email, for instance, I can click on Save Changes, and I'm done. All right, so once I click on Save Changes, it won't say anything, but as you can see, it's now kind of, I don't want to say grayed out, but it's a little bit lighter color, and then obviously it has the circle with the line through it. And down here, we can actually see how many emails we've actually sent out. Now, if you need more than 5,000 emails, so if you're going to send out more than 5,000 emails from your smart plans, all right, if you click on Manage Subscriptions on here, it'll take you to the marketplace for command email. So as you can see on here, we can actually see some of the different items about command email. So we can see on here which emails are sent using command email. All right, currently it's the smart plans, including customized you know, smart plans, monthly neighborhood newsletters, different items of that sort. All right, and it said very soon additional items as well. So obviously this could help out with the campaign section where you may not need you know, MailChimp anymore. All right, but if we scroll up a little bit further, as you can see, you can actually buy now, or you can see the additions and pricing on here. So if you need up to 10,000 emails, all right, then you can actually click on the buy now option. Here we go. And I believe it's $10 a month. That's what I saw yesterday. So let's see if it's uh, changed or anything of that sort. It used to have prices on here. They may have just recently taken that down. Here we go. Here are the prices. All right. So for 10,000 emails, it's $10 a month. For 20,000, it's 25. All right. Here we go. For 30,000, it's going to be $40 a month. 40,000 is 55, and then 50,000 is going to be $70 a month. All right, so that way you can actually go through and utilize this immediately. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up how simple that is. And if you notice on here, it is going to start on the first of each month. So in this case, it will give you a prorated amount depending on when you're actually purchasing it. All right, but if you need a couple extra emails or anything of that sort, you can actually add that on too. Now, in most cases, many agents will probably be good with just 5,000 emails. That's what you had previously with the eEdge email address, all right, if you were using that before. But if you do need a couple more, very cost-effective option to actually send out additional emails on here. Now, remember, as of right now, this is for the smart plans mainly, all right? So in the near future, that might update, though. 
All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on here. So as you can see, which emails are sent, and it's going to talk all about the smart plans. And as you can see, additional applets will start using command email services to send your emails in the coming months. All right, so I can imagine be on the lookout for the campaign section for the email option to have that on here too. All right, well, that's how simple it is to set up the new command email, what you can do with it, all right, and how we can actually make that active on here to utilize immediately. So I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy this. It's basically going to kind of take the place of MailJet on here that you saw previously, and it's going to help you out tremendously with sending all of these out. All right, and the biggest part is you can actually change that name on here instead of it saying no reply. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.